by way of the Ukraine. Introducing Sergei the Technician Derevyanchenko. Got a real good referee for this one in Johnny Callis. Sergey, Andre. Sam, Sergey, we received your instructions in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Above all, obey my commands at all times. First command is right now, touch gloves. The bell rings box. Good luck to the both of you. You know, sometimes there's dynamics that come out of the midair that, you know, just change a game change a boxing match sometimes in a baseball game there's a rain delay mm -hmm. and you know a pitcher's getting ready and all of a sudden you know he's got to sit guys. for an hour he's got to sit for a half hour and guess what it throws him off it's a dynamic Same that ready. changes the outcome ready of the game i wonder if that dynamic will change this fight because neither guy really had the right amount of time to warm up for what it's worth, Derevchenko had a little more time than Solomon because it was Solomon whose wraps were being dealt with second. Point well taken. But again, both guys were disturbed from their normal routine and not given the right amount of time to get ready. The knee of Solomon could be a problem. His right knee, he's had surgery there. He's had problems before. You can't see it, Joe, because the trunks are too long. But he wears, I believe, underneath there somewhere. There should be some kind of no no actually there is no brace but the right knee has had surgery more than once it's been a problem he's 42 years old and you wonder if it's going to hold up and he's going to need that right leg to hold up because that's part of the game of solomon move a little bit attack a little bit keep you off balance basically make an ugly fight create chaos well pretty much that first exchange you saw where he ended up on the canvas was the summation of what you get from sam solomon one thing solomon brings experience experience and more experience you want a, a little explanation or example of that experience difference well here it is solomon has been 12 rounds 23 times huh. well Dever vinchenko has never been past eight rounds which he has gone eight rounds two times and that's what solomon needs it's not the physical abilities it's the experience the awkwardness if he's going to pull off a big upset here. And he's looking for that lead right uppercut with his awkward approach of coming in. And there's a right hand from Solomon and then chases back against the ropes as he was off balance and he goes down. A right hand scored by Derevchenko. Knockdown scored in round number one. Five, six, seven, eight. You're doing okay, Sam? Here, yeah, walk to me, baby. There's right, opportunities. Go. To catch Solomon coming, you know that old saying, Joe, get you coming, get you going. That's no, 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 the no, game no, no, plan. No. You can see it for Debra Yanchenko right here, and it will work. You can catch Solomon coming when he leaves those gaps, and you can catch him going when he goes straight back. So Derevchenko off to a good start here against the veteran Sam Solomon. Knockdown scored in round number. The right knee being an issue. Of course, he fought for the middleweight championship in 2014 against Jermaine Taylor. Gave way of the belt. And in that fight, he injured his right knee badly. He was able to finish the fight, but was off balance throughout and was down plenty. And then was trying to come back and fight on March 5th against Antoine Douglas, but re-injured his right knee in training. Had to have arthroscopic surgery, so this is his first fight in 13 months and already down in round number one. Yeah, I like Debra Vincenco. I, I watched tape on him, and what I liked about him, the best way I can say it, and it's a great compliment for me, is he's solid in every area. I didn't see anything he didn't do well. He, he might not be scintillating, he might not have that neon light talent in one area, 
but he is so solid in every area. He's always balanced. He's always on point when he throws punches, never out of position. Even with an awkward guy like Solomon, you haven't seen him out of position. His legs are always there, and he's accurate with his punches. Don't punch. Todd uh, Grisham's in the corner of Sam Solomon, Todd. Huh? Hey, Joe, I just talked to Christian Enor, the trainer for Sam Solomon. I asked him if Solomon's knee was okay. He said yes, it was completely fine. He just caught, caught with an off-balance shot. It made me think back, though, to that Sergio Martinez versus Miguel Cotto fight where Martinez came in saying his knees were fine, and in the end, they weren't fine at all. Yeah, Got to have that steady foundation to stand up in this game. And he wasn't able to stand up to that right hand. You know, Devorinchenko is no spring chicken at the age of 30, Joe. But, you know, fighting somebody 42, I mean, he's the founder of youth tonight. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he had 300 amateur fights himself, Derevinchenko. 2008 Olympian on that very talented Ukraine team. This is being scored a knockdown. So that's the second knockdown scored. Six. Seven, eight. It's just not a Sorry, pretty picture at times when you watch Sam Solomon. No, but you're getting the picture that I asked for at our opening. When I said if, How about that? if Derek Vincenko wants to go into the neighborhood of the other Ukrainian fighters, go out there and score a knockout against a guy who's only been stopped once in 58 fights. His glove almost touched the canvas right there. As here comes Derevchenko head hunting. The awkward veteran. Now he gets him in that neutral corner. See if he can thud home a right hand. Oh my! How about that left? Sam Solomon crashing down. Wobbly, wobbly, and Gonzo. Night over. Derevchenko knockout sensation there. Catch him coming, catch him going. Solomon pulled out with his chin up. He's gotten away with it in the past at 42 against a solid, undefeated, well, actually a fighter with one loss, a good, solid Ukrainian fighter. He did not get away with it. And again, Devin Yanchenko answered the call that in some ways I put out there in the opening. You want to get my attention? Go knock out this 42-year-old former champion who is at towards the end of his career, who's only been stopped once in 58 fights. Go stop him. Let's finish here and watch for the left. Again, the right hand there, another right hand. There, that picture, not the best angle. See if we get another angle. The right hand does damage. The right hand again does damage. He's going to pull back. I'm going to guess he never saw that punch. And here comes the left hook. He's stepping back. The left hook right there. That's a good angle. From the other angle, the right glove of Solomon hit it. But you can see the impact on that angle. He pulls back, and the left hook is right there. And again, I was talking about catching him coming. He caught him coming. He caught him going. Stepped with him with that left hook. Right on the button. Clean knockout. 